Okay, so for the longest time I could not get my twist bones to uh, update as long as I had an animator running. Like you see, I've got an animator on the body and my twist bones are currently functioning. Um, and I'm going to walk you through how I got that to happen. Uh, basically what's happening is when you stick an animator on a skinned mesh renderer, uh, all the transforms, the, the bone locations and rotations get protected so that you can't mess with it while the animator's messing with it. Um, so we need to make sure that our twist executions happen after that. Now you've probably at this point already tried sticking your twist bones in late update and that didn't work. Um, that's the issue I had and that was the biggest problem I was having everywhere online just said oh just stick it in late update it'll be fine or on animator IK none of that seemed to matter for me um, it was still very very broken so I'm gonna walk through walk you through how to actually get this to work all right so let's walk through how it's set up for me really quick um, I have my twist driver script on the skinned mesh renderer that has the animator on it you don't have to put it here you can put it wherever you want but I just put it here to keep it because uh, this is where the IKs are so all my IKs are in one position but this twist driver script is just going to in the late update it's just gonna reference my character controller which is just getting at start um, it's just getting the character controller and then it's running the twist bones function that I have in there in late update. That's important. It has to be late update. And you want to keep this script, by the way, as bare bones as possible for your twist bones. It's only going to have twist bones in it. You could, you know, write the logic for your twist bones here if you want to, but I already wrote it in my character controller, so I'm just going to reference that just so that everything, again, is in one place. So in late update, this twist driver script is going to run the controller's twist bone. So let's go over to the controller. The twist bone is here in the controller. It's very simple. We're just up setting the rotation, the local rotation, to some quaternion slurp, 50% of the hand, and then the lower arm is getting 30% of the hand. And that makes it, in my case, look really smooth. Um, but if you set this up and you find that nothing is working, um, and you've tried everything else, right? You've got an animator mask. You put a mask in there so that you know it doesn't affect the hands or the anything else, and it, it's still not working. You've gone into locomotion and you've unchecked right defaults, and it's still not working. That's because the animator has the uh, transforms protected. So what you have to do is you go edit project settings, and then script execution order, and you need to add your twist or whatever you're doing to to manipulate your bones is you're gonna have to add it to this list and make sure it's at the bottom you want it to be the very last thing executed so to get it on here you can hit this little plus now this is like the most annoying menu on the whole fucking planet you have to go through one by one now the first time I did it, I was very lucky I was able to just type TW and it went right to my script but now when I do it it's it when I press T it's just sticking some other script in here so you're on your own to figure this fucking abomination out but find your script in here add it make sure it's at the very bottom apply and you should be good to go.